So we're building an old hot rod. Why in the world would you want to weld up a perfectly good hole? Well, stick around and I'm going to show you why and we're going to do it. Keeping up with the 36 Pontiac, you can see that the uh, body is raised up. I got the body off the frame, got the fenders and running boards off, and we've already done a lot of little things uh, on a few videos since then. So I don't know if I've shared all those videos yet or not. Today I'm going to weld a plug where the factory gas tank assembly, fuel assembly comes out of the fender. We're not going to use that. We're going to make it a little bit smoother. So I made a panel for that uh, a few months back and we're going to go ahead and make sure that it fits properly because I've slept since then and then we're going to uh, get that welded up, get this fender ready for body work because that's all it's got left. So here's the piece that we made. It's pretty flat. It's got a little bit of a contour in here so we're fixing to shape it just a little bit to make sure it fits better. So there's the panel that we made. It's still just a little too tight and it needs a little bit of a contour contour put to it. It actually goes in just a little bit and then from this end to this end, it actually curves up a little bit. So before I take anything off of it and make it smaller, I wanna make sure that I get those contours done. And that's the reason it's oversized now is because once you start to do that contour, it's gonna pull the edges in just a little bit. So sometimes you can do it by bending it like this outward well see how much smaller that made it it went right through the hole so it's really one of those things where you can't see it but you can feel it now this is just like what an english wheel would do this little mallet right here Basically, I just went around the edges of it, left the center open, and gave it a dished, dished out area going two different directions. Almost made a very slight bowl to it. See, that's all we did to it. It's not going this direction, but it's going this direction. All right, so I've got the fender supported up on the vise. Just ran a bolt through it, a little nut on both sides to jam it, and then put the bolt in the vise. And that keeps the fender in place while we're working on it. Just something simple. I've also uh, taken the part that we're gonna weld in to cover up the gas tank hole. Put a piece of tape on it. got it in place. Now, this is like a third and fourth hand. You can manipulate the part, get it back where you want it. Make sure it fits the hole really well. And it does. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece on the back side too, just to help it so the weight of it won't sag down. Uh, you can do it that way. That's the way I really like to do it. Or you can use one of your magnets. Also help out. Now I found these magnets. They work really good on some welders. Some welders, the weld wants to pop. It may have something to do with the magnet interfering with the frequency of the welder. I don't know. Masking tape, there's no interference. But if you haven't never smelled masking tape burning, it's something you usually won't forget. All right, let me get the welder fired up and we'll put a tack on it on both sides, remove all of our fun stuff and see how well it fits. Woo! 
Smells good. Well, there's just another bite out of the big old elephant. It fits, it's contoured, it flows pretty good. It's a little bit of a scoop. I can just feel a little knot. I'll take care of that, that's no problem. But as far as body work, it's gonna take just a little bit, just a little bit. So now this fender is flowing, it's, it looks good. The gas cap is gone, which means we've gotta find another place to put the gas cap, but that's no big deal. We'll get it done. No gas tank filler and no tail lights. Well guys, the old 36 Pontiac is coming along pretty good. I hope you like some of the smooth changes that we did and understand why some of the changes have been made. Don't want your eye to be taken away from the beauty of the car by things that are jumping out at you. You want it to go smooth. Stick around, watch some more stuff on the channel, and make sure you keep up with the 36 Pontiac How to Build a Hot Rod. As always, thanks for watching. Comment, you could win some t-shirts, and make sure you subscribe. It really means a lot to the channel's growth. As always, get out in the garage and go build something. See you in the next episode. So the major component of building this car is gonna be rebuilding the chassis. And we're gonna use as much of the original frame rails as we can, but everything else is gonna be completely custom. It's already welded on the frame table. The body is already lifted up off of the frame. So now we need to build a dolly to set the body on. That way we can roll the frame table out from underneath the body and get it to where we can start building a new chassis. Don't you just love these old hot rods? Are they ever done? Anyway, let's see how we can take this and make something cool out of it on a budget, the pro-built way.